Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have upgraded, or updated, rather, to uh, 2.5.82 and Alpha 20.5 build 2. Um, so, yeah, I just uh, loaded the game a couple minutes ago, and everything seems to be working okay. I did back up, completely back up. Uh, the previous installation and save files just in case, but it looks like everything's okay so far. So the two major, there, there were several changes in this update, but two big ones are the ability to pull from containers now and the ability to upgrade workstations um, directly from the workstation from the radio menu. So if we, do, if we hold down E on here, we get this upgrade icon and it tells us all the stuff that we need in order to to do this upgrade so that's really cool uh, i do want to get this maintenance station up to tier three as soon as possible because some of my higher end weapons i can't repair in the in this uh, bench uh, but that's not our highest priority right now our highest priority is to get our furnace and our blacksmith's forge upgraded all right so uh, i had put all this stuff in here from before i guess i have a few more things i need to drop off here so let's do that real quick okay so um i i don't know if the material requirements have changed they probably have um so let's i think we want to do the furnace first so we can start smelting steel so let's take a look and see what we need for that uh, and we can pin it too, which is super useful. So we might be able to actually pull this off. Um, let's start with the research data. So we need 400 of those. Uh, I'm just going to put all those in there. Uh, we need 10 books, which we're good to go there. We picked up some books in the last episode. We need 60 bricks. I made uh, and am making more bricks here. Let's uh, put some of these away so we're not super heavy Oop, one more we need 20 clay we got that no problem let's see what else uh, 25 hide uh let's see 10 pipes did I not make 10 pipes or did maybe we did and we must have spent it on something else. Okay. So we can make nine with that and we're going to need to make another pipe with this. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, we need to make nine more pipes with that. And then we need to make another uh plating to do that okay while we're waiting on that stuff we have five duct tape a crucible and oh oh i have pipes in here already okay is this yeah see this is this was the stuff right okay so this was the stuff for the schematic so we actually only need four more pipes. Now let's let those finish anyways, because we're going to need pipes for other things. Okay, so we have everything for the upgrade. Let's go ahead and click on that. Workstation is not empty. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, so here, we'll just cancel that. Get everything out of here. Now let's try it. Upgrade. Boom. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, it happened right away. Okay, the good thing about this now is we're going to be able to start smelting steel. Um, so that here, let's, let's look at the options for steel here. Uh, what? How come that changed to something other than this workstation? I don't know. That's weird. Uh, but we can either do steel ingots from scrap steel or from two iron ingots and coal powder. That's right. I remember that from before. Okay. So we have accumulated a pretty decent amount of scrap steel just, you know, in the time that we've been playing. So why don't we get that 
going uh, for smelting. Uh, yeah, let's get this back in there, and we're going to want the ingot mold for this. I like this upgrade solution better. It's a little simpler, removes that step of having to do the schematic first. Um, so, yeah, nice change, very nice change. And then let's put some wood in here. And to do all of those, which is only going to give us 25, that's only 38 seconds there. Wow, only 25 from 250 steel. That's uh, that's not a lot. <laughs> okay, so now the other thing I haven't quite figured out yet is... Um, let's put this away. So when I go to a workbench, it says nearby storage zero. Um, so that seems to indicate it's not working. And I wonder if it's because so yeah, I'll have to read up on that and figure, see if I can figure out how that works. Uh, but anyway, we got this done. I definitely needed to get that done. Now let's, um, see what we need to upgrade the blacksmith's fort. So we're going to go here, upgrade. We're going to pin this. Okay. Let's see, we might, well, how am I doing on iron? Yeah, we've got iron. We might be able to pull this off. Okay, so let's try, let's just grab all that research data. I don't feel like counting it out right now. Um, and we'll grab some paper here. We need 50 bricks. 20 clay. Here we go, 20 exactly, 200 iron, okay, uh, 20 steel ingots, and we happen to have 25 right here, look at that. Let's put the other five in here for the moment. Five boards, we'll get those over here. One log. One anvil and one cooking grill. Okay, that might be our stopping point because... I'm going to need 200 iron ingots just to make the anvil. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, it looks like it's time for me to go mining, but here's what we are going to do like we did before. We're going to put all of the stuff that we've currently gathered in here so I don't have to recount it out. Um, since we're doing it this way, we might as well just put the tin paper in. And uh, 400 research data. Okay, so we need a, a pail, an anvil, and a cooking grill. Those are the things that are holding us up. So as far as the pail goes, that should be relatively easy to make. We need five iron uh, thingy-madoodles, iron ingots. Uh, since we need 100 iron ingots, I'm not going to turn these in. Well, you know what? Actually, let's just do it so we can get the pail and the grill made. Uh, so we're going to need to do f uh, eight of these to make five or, or four more plating for the bucket of water. And then the grill is going to require... Oh, that only requires a couple rebar. We've got that. A couple iron rebar right there. That's easy enough. All right, now we can make the bucket... And that leaves us with uh, 89 more ingots that we have to come up with to... Oh, uh, yeah, right. To make... to I, I got my... I lost track of what I... My, uh, no, we need 200. Son of a bitch. 
Okay, we need, we need 189 <laughs> to make this apple. My word, that thing's expensive. I don't remember ever coming across one in loot. I haven't deliberately looked at the trader for that. Um, but, you know, so it's possible that they could have it for sale. I'm not, I don't know. So we, we've got some mining ahead of us, man. We have got some mining ahead of us. But there's everything else that we need except for the anvil uh, to upgrade uh, our blacksmith's forge. Now, once we get this to two, among other things, we'll be able to start making our own bobby pins, and then lockpicking will pretty much be, I, I mean, I'll probably, within reason, of course, start lockpicking just about everything I can, you know, to, to keep the skill going. The only reason I haven't been doing that is because, you know, I have a limited supply of the bobby pins. All right, well, um, I think what that means then, ladies and gentlemen, is it's time for OG to go mining. Um, one kind of bad situation I'm in at the moment, though, is I only have four repair kits, and I'm unable to repair the steel axe in maintenance tier 2 station because it's too low of a level. Um, as far as upgrading this goes, I mean, we need a hundred steel plating and an advanced repair kit. So those two things are not something I can just easily make right at the moment, but we will be able to make these, you know, once we get, uh, you know, some more mining going. So that's coming up. Um, what I'm probably going to have to do then is I'm probably going to have to revert back to a pick that I can repair in that station. Um, the blue steel pick, I, was I able to do the blue steel pick? Yeah, insufficient station level. So I don't think, uh, you can't do these higher level steels. This we can, oh shit. I thought we could do this in here too. Wait a second. Oh no, no, this is, uh, okay. So this is for upgrading the tool. That's cool. This is what we're looking at. All right, so let's go back to here for a second. So we can actually upgrade the blue steel pick. What about the purple? Yeah, see, insufficient station level. Uh, but we have this one, and this one I think is a little bit better than the iron pickaxe. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to revert back to the blue steel pick once this one breaks all the way down and just keep using this for the time being. Um... Yeah, because it's still a little bit better than that other one. All right. Now we got that that part figured out. I'm not using the Valkyrie drill because, A, it requires gas, which we're still super, super short on, and, B, it calls in screamers really fast. So my plan for this is to get all the way down to bedrock and get away from the base and then, you know, get gasoline under control, and then after that we can... Um, yeah, this is better than that pick, too. Then we can start using that for mining. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. Okay. I uh, also wanted to show you guys that... One of the zom you know, the zombies that come up here and come after us and we fight. I killed one of them and they dropped an auger, which is pretty cool. A D-level auger at that. So that's where that came from. Uh, I try and, you know, I try not to deliberately loot stuff off camera uh, too much, you know, because I want you guys to see when I get, you know, really high in stuff like this. But sometimes it just kind of happens and that was one of those times. Um, all right. So I think that is about as far as we can go so i'm gonna go do some mining and i will bring you guys back after i get enough resources to be able to make an anvil and get this thing upgraded and then we'll go from there all right guys we are back and we have our 200 iron ingots right there and quite a few more on the way so let's go grab the rest of this stuff now and oh we gotta make the we gotta make the actual anvil first that's right forgot about that so let's get that going that'll only be one minute and then we'll be good to go on that um let's see i want to put no we got to keep that stuff with us i do want to make some more um uh the of the plating Two. Well, actually, let's let's just wait, and we'll do that once we upgrade the the station, uh, because I need to be able to repair this pick here. However, actually, we could probably start making steel. I mean, we will be able to start making steel plating 
once we get this upgraded, and then I can go back to uh, this pick here, uh, which is this pick, this iron pick that I have with my current skill. Um, it just barely can't quite three shot stone, so it takes four hits, whereas this one can three shot stone. Uh, and speaking of skills and all of that, we have a couple perk points to spend, uh, but my mining skill is up to 80, so we're making really good progress with the mining skill, and our sledgehammer is up to 69. Uh, sneaking's 28, athletics is 32, and lockpicking's only 16. So yeah, we're we're working on uh, on getting these skills up. Oh. Nice. We hit the, the first milestone for uh, weightlifting, too, which increased our capacity by 20, uh, which is a good thing. Okay, so let's um, grab this. And now we have everything to do the upgrade. There we go. All right, Blacksmith's Forge 2. This is beautiful. Um, now, can we also make steel arrowheads in here yes we can okay cool so we're gonna we're gonna start transitioning to steel arrow uh, arrows amongst other things um i can make a steel sledge in here too but i can still only make an h level on that so that's not so great let's just take a quick look at what else this opened up for us uh and while we're looking at that let's get uh, some of those cooking up too uh, okay, so we can make steel, uh, steel arrowheads, steel hinges, steel plating, the steel pickaxe I can make, but again, just the crappy level one of those. That's because I think the way things work in this mod is you, if you make a tool, I think it always starts out as H and then you have to upgrade it in the maintenance station, regardless of your skill. I believe that's the way that all that works. Uh, okay, so let's see. What else? Okay, none of this stuff we have learned yet because we haven't found the stuff. The lock picks, Blacksmith Force 2. Yeah, the lock picking schematic is something we definitely want to learn uh, when the time comes. So, yeah, pretty good. All right, let's uh, see what it takes to repair this. Eight iron, okay. The nice thing about using this is it's definitely the cheapest uh, cheapest way to go, even though it takes a little bit longer to do the mining with it. So um, that's going to leave us with about 130-ish or so, 140-ish uh, ingots. And so I'm going to probably convert half of those into iron plating, and the other half will start making uh, steel plating with... Um, well, actually, hold on. Before we do that, uh, we've, okay, so we got these two upgraded. I'd like to get, we looked at the upgrade on this again. What was it? Yeah, 100 steel plating in the advanced repair kit. And I don't know, whoops, what we need to make the advanced repair kit. Well, first of all, we're going to have to find one in order to make the schematic for one or buy one. I haven't even found or seen a trader with one of these for sale yet so until that happens we're pretty much can't do anything about upgrading this uh does the mechanics table have an upgrade it does okay that would all be pretty easy to do uh i'm not sure what we get from that except for probably the ability to make like higher end vehicles so there's that. Oh, yeah, Carpenter's Table. That would be a good one to upgrade. What do we need to upgrade this? See, all of this we can we can swing. Um, definitely can swing that. In fact, we could probably swing it right now because I have 300 research data. The thing, <laughs> the thing is, though, is what station makes the gas? Pro oh, the, the chemistry station does, right? Yeah. Gasoline. Crafted in backpack. This one here in chemistry station. Okay. Uh, we really should probably hang on to the research data. Oh, you know what, though? Do I need this to be upgraded to tier 2 in order to make the steel arrows? I bet you we do. Okay, let's just get it done. We need to do it anyway. Let's just get it done. 
So we'll pin the upgrade path on this. And let's get all this stuff gathered up here. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Darn it. Okay. We're gonna have, I, I need to cut some more wood anyway for other reasons. So, uh, by the way, speaking of wood, I pulled up or cut all, down all the dead trees down there and I planted oak trees. And same over there. So as the, you know, the we get the seeds from the new oak trees or if I go off into the forest to get more, uh, we're going to plant everything. Uh, we're going to redo the flower beds eventually. Uh, make everything look nice and basically this little block that our building is on we're going to turn it back into a lush green paradise amidst the wasteland <laughs> that's the plan anyway uh, okay anyway let's get back to this so all right that gives us 137 iron ingots so 139 so let's split this in half um we'll hang on to 70 that we'll we'll turn into steel and these, this other 69 here, uh, let's just go ahead and straight up convert these right now to uh, to iron plating. We'll grab these, and we need coal dust. And I need to go mine some more coal, too. Uh, I'll show you guys my mine, too. I've got a really good mine going. It's got uh, a little bit of lead, a bunch of iron, and a bunch of nitrate from what I've uncovered so far. Um, but coal, uh, I want coal. We got, actually, we got quite a bit of coal powder there, but let's grab all of it. We'll put all of this stuff back in here for the moment. Um, I got those plant fibers in there for pipe bombs. Okay. So what we want to do here is let's get some wood going and we want to smelt steel ingots it requires two irons and one coal powder. So at least it doesn't use a ton of coal powder. Uh, that's only going to need 53 seconds to run, so that's good enough. Let's um, let's get all those going. And I'm going to leave some coal powder uh, down here for smelting purposes. All right, cool. And then uh, we'll probably just end up turning all those steel lingots into steel plates so that I can again get back to using this guy and get it repaired uh, what does it take to make an actual repair kit and can we even do that we can make a repair kit in the tier 2 workbench hmm okay so here's the thing about this all of this stuff is relatively inexpensive. How much motor oil do I have? I got 199 motor oil. In order to repair this steel pickaxe, I'm going to need six steel plating, which is one more than the repair kit costs. Whereas if I make repair kits, I can go back to using this guy because this just takes normal repair kits. Uh, for one less steel, and again, you know, it does cost the rest of that stuff, but the rest of that stuff's not that expensive. So I think we should make start making repair kits with this steel rather than, you know, straight up repairing this stuff. So that seems to make more sense to me. Okay, so that is what we shall do. Looks like my dude's thirsty. Uh, we're already already done with this, man. Look at that. That was fast. Uh, for upgrading this, we, yeah, we need plating for that, too, because that's one of the biggest reasons I need the steel right now. Um, oh, we can make gears now, too. That's good. The steel rebar, <coughs> excuse me, will make us the arrow heads, but I'm pretty sure we're going to need the carpenter tier, two to make the steel arrows. Uh, so that's what we'll work towards next. Anyway, let's get uh, those made up. That'll allow us to make four more repair kits in addition to what we already have. And then that's going to allow us to also repair our saw blade and our, you know, our higher end weapons and tools that we currently have. So I think that's the the right, right move there. Okay, let's put uh, this back in here for now. That gives us 39 of those. And we're going to run upstairs here and get ourselves something to drink. And we might take a trip back to the forest and just cut a shit ton of trees. Uh, because we need the wood. That way I can get more oak tree seeds. 
Uh, we can hit more stumps for honey. I only have two honeys on me right now, which isn't a lot. And more eggs. And go do some hunting, too. And then later on this evening or overnight, I'll probably get back down into the mine and go mining. I was going to show that to you guys, though. So let's go take a quick look at the mine just so you can see what I got going on down there. And it uh, looks like we could stand to eat some bacon and eggs, too. I've got... Um, I got 14 eggs in here, but I don't have any meat at all. So, yeah, meat's something we got to get going on for sure. Let's um, grab these. Okay, so we want to make re uh, 20 repair kits right here. So let's pin that. So that means we're going to need 100 scrap iron. We're going to need 10 mechanicals. No, yeah, 10, sorry. Yeah, 10 mechanicals. Uh, we're going to need 20 oil. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 10 glue. Tin cloth and tin duct tape. There, now we should be able to make four repair kits. Quite a bit more expensive than they are in vanilla, but that's all right. Considering the broad range of stuff that you can repair with them, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Some stuff in vanilla is just too too damn easy. Really, it is. Uh, I think so, anyway. Okay, cool. So that means we can go back to using our best pick that we currently have. And we can repair it for one less steel, though, you know, more other of the other things. And let's get these two back on here. And I want to see if I have some other things uh, that I could put on this as well. Because we have, how many slots do we have? We have two more slots. So in here, uh, no, in here I've got mods and parts. None of that stuff is going to go on a pick, I don't think. This is mostly weapon stuff. Uh, what do I have on this? Yeah, that's got the bowstring. Uh, what about the shotgun? Yeah, the duck belt. Okay. Um, do I have any mods in here? I got the titanium chainsaw mod, but... I'm assuming that's just for a chainsaw and nothing in here. Okay, well, looks like that's probably the best we can do. Unless we wanted to... That's got a blade mod. What's this have? Oh, you know what I want to do with this, then? This, the structural is the one that makes it degrade slower. So let's put... And what does that do? Fortifying grip? We don't really need that for a pick, though. But it would make it do more damage, wouldn't it? Wait, did I just pull that off of there? I did, didn't I? Oh, so that already had that on there. Okay, that's even better then. That's even better. What do you have on? You've got an iron breaker and a bu bunker buster. Uh, you got a better iron breaker, though, so that one should be going on our pick. Oh, no, sorry. I got that mixed up. Okay. All right. I'm just putting this on the axe because it makes the axe stronger is all. All right. So you got all that stuff. That's what you should have. Uh, for you, I mean, if we take this off, it's going to increase the block damage here. And then when I go, if I go out and do a whole bunch of wrenching, I can move stuff around. Because right now this does plus 15 block damage. This will... Bump it up to plus 20. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the right maneuver for that. Uh, let's put this carpenter's axe in here. We'll put the other pick back in here again. Um, you might be wondering, too, why not take two picks so you can stay down longer? Well, it's weight. Um, by the time this pick wears almost all the way down, uh, I'm already overweight and I have to come back. So that's, that's the reason for that. Okay. So now... Um, we're going to want to repair this now, too, but we've got seven repair kits. 
now, which is great. Uh, but I'm going to you know, continue using that until it's completely worn down, and then we'll repair it at that point. We need to start thinking maybe about repairing our mountain bike, too. That requires a mountain bike repair kit. Um, where is that? Or a bicycle repair kit. Oh, doesn't look like we know that. Okay, well, forget it then. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so it's just a little bit after noon. And so I think what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to run out to the forest for the rest of today. And I'm going to cut wood, get stumps, gather eggs, go hunting, um, and do, you know, foresty types of things. Then I will come back here in the evening and go do some more mining overnight so we can continue building up our steel. Oh, I'm probably going to hit some coal um, too out in the forest because I know where a couple coal mines are. Uh, so we can start, you know, getting some some steel production going. Uh, we'll, we'll get this upgraded to the Carpenter's Level 2 table in which at, at which point in time I hope I can make, you know, the, uh, the steel arrows. Oh, we didn't do our points. Let's look at those real quick before I let you go. Uh, so we have two perk points to spend. Um, we have been focusing on intellect. And I think what I'm going to to do is I'm going to get intellect up to nine and then with the nerdies that'll give us an effective 10 when we're doing horde nights assuming I remember uh, to wear them <laughs> uh, we can have the maximum demolitions expert because my new horde based design is still going to be you know based upon uh, explosive damage for the most part and then we'll also be able to you know put some nice points into better barter a salvage operations, lock picking, drone specialists, and get drones going later on, and that sort of thing. So I think we're just going to keep focusing on it, intellect till I get it to nine, and then after that, we'll move to another tree and start pumping other things. Maybe fortitude, because I really should do some more, you know, for my health here, I'm making us stronger, that sort of thing. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.